I'll take it. He's a native of Fairbanks, Alaska. Oh! Brings actually three of them as a player during the Lakers' three-peat from 2000 to 2002, and a couple more as an assistant coach in 09 and in 10. Brian Shaw was talking about that with us as well, just about the guys knowing when to screen, how to screen, when to cut. Mannion on the two-on-one. Tupon not able to finish there. Axel Tupon wearing 66, the French national, and there's Kamet East Bay, San Francisco. Brian Shaw was telling us for the first time in like 35 years, he's been able to work. Tried to feed Tupon, who wanted the contact, didn't get it. Kaminga, nice pass to Ashley. Jonathan Kaminga has looked good here in the first half. Just got dime number two. Game, but they're going to be in more NBA-like situations, especially end-of-game situations, time and score, advancing the basketball, those type of things, going against NBA talent every night. Realizing you just have to <laughs> gently put the fish back into the water. So that, that's my favorite story so far from the bubble. He, he threw a four-seamer out there as Kaminga... Jonathan Kuminga had an outstanding 13-point first half. Using the screen from Johnson, feeds the big man for two. You heard Mannion call out short that time. Kuminga for a few years with the Expos and the Dodgers. Oh, great feed down to Green. Up out of the timeout. This is Jonathan Kuminga. Spins by Tupac. How about Kaminga being the one bringing it up against the full court pressure? 6'8, 222, uber skilled. Kaminga gets it deep and scores. Looking. Finds Jordan Poole. Down four, got to go quick. Blocked by Kaminga. They're the home team in this matchup wearing blue, Ignite wearing white. Kuminga with the early steal, and he'll push the other way on a connection. Simpson will trigger. Cleveland's an air ball, and it's down to Jared Jack. Firing it ahead for trigger by Jonathan Kuminga. That does not hit iron. Now it's going to be challenging for Ignite to get shots at the rim in the half court because you think about what the college guys are getting on the other end of things they're learning totally different systems and, and obviously not playing pros so uh really exciting to see how this plate excited to see how this group in particular works together with kuminga green mix all on the floor at the same thing that he had two defenders they didn't go all the way in for the trap just a soft kind of double there and he knew someone had and a reset for ignite All the way in. Hold up. <laughs> no one's uh, that much of a physical specimen, but hey, what he's doing at his age. You can find some of your better days laterally. Particularly active when he's got the young man Jalen Green guarding him. <laughs> he has been taking it at him. Green does not use the screen. Saves it. Five to shoot. The cutter. He's representing. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the duality of, of Erie, but it, he was just so in touch with his. Get an easy one. On the season, Ignite averaging more turnovers than assists per game. who had a birthday performance for the ages over the weekend with 25 points. Knicks running the show and finding Kaminga. Watch there by Jared Utoff. Kaminga spinning, leaning in, and a nice... ...while to go. You got to keep that endurance up because you're two <laughs> players short in the rotation. So we'll see what this looks like in the fourth quarter. Kaminga on the drive, working his way in. They're getting the money that, you know, the guys are being paid. 
you know, on this uh, this Ignite team. And so there are a lot of factors for why O oh, enjoying this opportunity to work with young guys. And you see his leadership and his coaching as you watch the game. Performance by Erie, really, from the jump. And Nix throws it. Stauskas misfires. Head Van Veen to come to, uh, to father time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul out to Kuming. See them, and I actually had a couple G League refs in my debut NBA game, and that was cool to see. Close to 80 percent of the main goal as soon as uh, COVID hit, and uh, we were just glad to you know work with the league and put together a season. Uh, the players wanted to play, and we wanted to get ignite some experience now coming to the 905. Ignite doing a good job of curtailing their turnover out Go on the cut. Vernon Carey Jr., 22 points, 10 rebounds per game, fourth of the G. With the footwork, the shot fakes. Kaminga from the foul line. He's along throughout the whole game. You'll look up and then he'll have a nice stat line at the end. Oh, you get confused to what's not allowing him to get to the next step or the next level because he looks great out there right now. The layup, <laughs> I'll take it. He's a native of Fairbanks, Alaska. Oh. Simmons having himself a nice game. 24 points after that three. Simmons has been great today. McQueen, he is speed. <laughs> That's a good one. Kaminga lines it up. All George. See it with the athleticism there. Now Jack underneath, falling away, couldn't get the bounce, but Ashley taps it back. Kaminga. It's about a defense. If Canton wants to take this lead now, they got to come together with some stops. Kaminga couldn't. I had at that comment. Goodness gracious, man. <laughs> From Chicago and the Rose Bulls are what we come. I think that's the second time he lost the ball midair, but regained it in midair and put it in. Kaminga attacks. Now Richardson off the dribble, going at Kaminga. Couldn't lay it in. Numbers the other way. Green back to Kaminga. Green whips it inside. Kaminga the Green tried to throw it down too strong. Here's Kaminga trying a three, and there you go. Age of 39. Is Sue okay with you calling her old? I don't know if she's okay with me calling her old too. Like dad. Just like dad. Here's the steal into the open floor. Kaminga the win. Here's Kaminga working on Gillespie along the baseline. Gives it up. Nice, unselfish. Come up on four minutes here in this fourth quarter of what's been a very entertaining game. Kaminga fires the three. Nice pass, gets through and turns over. Green, great touch pass to Kaminga. Players are role players, right? I mean, 95% of the league is role players. And when you're trying to make those last spots in a will part of the learning experience, right, too? This is only game 12 of their professional careers. Yeah, but Brian Shaw would say, this is game 12. <laughs> I mean, we learned by now. Where, because this is a team that had so much early success and then four straight losses derailing that. Oh, and there's a lot of good offensive rebounding opportunities. Paul Reed, another double-double for the Bluecoats. He is the proverbial.